Here we go, everybody. Welcome to the end of another week. Feels like a long time since we've played any Bromley. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I have not touched this save since Monday evening, but I did play a little bit after the last stream. Things are going disturbingly well in the league, despite the fact that I don't think our tactic is working. So we'll get into that point number one for today. We've got a fabulous halftime team talk that is going to get the tongues a wagging. We've got a promotion push on our hands. That much I will declare before we even get into the game. And we're going to be starting off today's stream with what? Hmm, I don't know. Are we going to call it a grudge match? Because we are taking on Sutton. Maybe not a grudge match because we had a good time at Sutton, but we weren't there for very long. I feel like we turned our back on them as we nearly got them relegated out of the Football League and Bromley were tumbling into League Two. Well, it didn't take a lot of convincing for you lot to get us to walk. So we're going to be taking on Sutton first game today. We've got lots of our familiar favourites in with us today. First in, of course, is Joshua Brown. Of course, he is the king of all things Border Adventures. Nobody has more knowledge of my early FM adventures than good old Joshua Brown. Isaac Lockett, the king of data, the good doctor, is in the house. Doctor in waiting, Isaac. Uh, we got Callum, king of the kits. He's with us. Afternoon to you. It is Friday. Happy Friday, Cal. Friday normally means a cheeky afternoon drink with your dad, if I'm not too much mistaken. Let us know what kind of hostelry we are in and what your beverage of choice is this Friday afternoon. Callum Craig is with us. Good to see you, Craig. Speaking of old series, Craig's making his way through Sub-Zero Hero. Very brave of you, Craig. Hope it's going well. Greeno is with us. Greeno, it's the weekend whenever you declare it the weekend. Good to see you. Greeno, have we still got one cheeky little work meeting left on this work week or have you checked out? We will not tell your employer, we promise. Got no games with us. The hero of the Emerald Isles. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to the chat. Happy Friday. Let's get this promotion. Hey, got no game. I might be calling it early. Okay, I'm calling it early. I'm, I've described it as a promotion push. We're still in early October, all right? But in League Two, you've played a lot of games by early October. I think we're 14, 15 games into the season and we're doing well, even though I don't think the tactic's right. It's not working. And I'm going to show you why it's not working in a moment. Arugio, the Wiccan Warrior, is in. Good to see you. I hope Norfolk is a little bit better than where I'm streaming from this afternoon. Went out for the morning walk this morning. It was... What do they call it in your neck of the woods? I'd call it drizzle. A lot of drizzle. Came back absolutely soaked. JM Thought, A up. There you go. Yeah, the Northerner is with us. Look who it is. It's FM Llama. He's back. I'm here. Good to see you, JM Thought. Craig, up to episode 33. Just watched Tiny Emperor being out jumped by someone five foot three. Happy memories. I loved Sub Zero Hero. I would not need a lot of convincing. To make sub hero that's not right, is it? Sub Zero Hero. The return. Who else we got with us? Cal scheduled some afternoon shandy with the old man clocking on at three. Are you gonna go for an Amstel today? Sounds like you've got it all mapped out, Callum. Enjoy your afternoon. Thanks for spending a bit of time with us first. Mike. Mike is very on brand. Although, Mike, I guess we're a little further into our Friday than you were. I don't know whether your clocks have changed yet. Are we an hour ahead of you, Mike, or are we two hours ahead of you? I've already lived the last two hours, Mike. I can tell you it goes without incidents. Welcome in. Greeno's got another three. Come on, Greeno, let's be honest. Three hours of work. I'm guiding you through two hours of that. So essentially, you've got three hours of work to squeeze in between three and four. There we go. That's the badger. How was school, says Isaac. Um... Oh, uh, we'll get into that, shall we, Isaac? Uh, no regrets about leaving, Isaac. No regrets at all. Guess who's back? Back again. Llama's back. He's got no friends. Thank you, Dan Thoughty. Uh, George and Croyd Rovers. By the way, George and Croyd Rovers. Can we ask why your username is George and Croyd Rovers? What's your link? To what I'm assuming is a real-life football club. Uh, Mike, just past noon. Okay, we're an hour ahead, Mike. Honestly, I've already lived 12 to 1. It was fine, Mike. It was absolutely fine. Uh, Titan 
Uh, hello. You need my mighty... Oh, Titan. I have no mighty assistance, but what assistance I have is at your disposal. Let me know what your query is. Craig, Sub-Zero Hero 2 needs to be the next save. A choice of clubs too. Would we? Where would we go, Craig? Back to Norway? Back to... Oh, Callum. He's already saying. I was about to say, should we go to Alter? Uh, Morton Gams Pedersen's retired, but he's only 73. He can't have retired. Uh, Talis. Oh, Talis is in. Good to see you, Talis. Georgia and Croyd uh, were, were an amateur football club in Devon. Why the were? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Uh, Sub-Zero Hero 2. Extra, extra chilled. This time it's frozen. Uh, Joshua Brown, sorry, you have to interject here. If any series is getting a redder, it's got to be Border Adventures. Craig is Hammerfest. Hammerfest are not in the game. Um, I had some happy times at Hammerfest, by the way. It is further north. I don't think you can get further north in Europe than Hammerfest, but... You have to forgive me. You can probably hear from the voice. We are uh, a little raspy at the moment, so I might need to rehydrate through this. Touch the old tonsillitis at the moment. So uh, speaking is not my friend. We're going to do our best to get through this. JB, Board Adventures is our Kanto region. Shrubbery are our Charizard. Uh, is, uh, Joshua, is this some kind of uh, Pokemon thing? which I'm way too old for. It needs 17 forms and to be shoved in everyone's face on a weekly basis. Ah, hmm. Come on then, Joshua, here's the question. Uh, if we were going to start board adventures, what nation would we pick? What nation would we pick as our base? Sorry, we are... Oh, Georgia, God. I thought you closed down the club for a moment. I thought there was some heartbreaking story. Uh, Callum, Hammerfest sounds like a great heavy metal... Hammerfest is, I think, also a heavy metal uh, festival. Okay, uh, Jam Thoughts, Sub-Zero Tier 2, Ice Age Youth Only, like it, Carex, you wonderful human being, hope you're very, very well, tell us how your own save is going, Carex, give us an update, here we go then, peeps, in fact, I probably need to get into the game for this, because I might need, I might need the game, let's just jump in there, uh, Titan, alright, this is the situation, you're playing your first ever network game this evening. You're going to try and bring Benfica some mighty success. Do you have any tips? Cheap players that are real gems. As I said, Titan, I think I am completely unqualified for this task. But I know some people in the chat who might have some suggestions for you, uh, including Mike who is a Benfica supporter in real life. So he might be able to tip you off about the players that are in your squad who are certainly worth keeping an eye on. But we have some experts in here. Thoughty, Joshua Brown, Craig, Isaac, JM, Atalis, Greeno. We want some, I, I guess we're talking kind of like five to 10 million pound gems. Uh, Mike saying don't sign a thing you've got everything you need at Benfica Mike sees the world through Benfica glasses though let's 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 make that clear uh, so let Titan know down in the chat some cheap players that are real gems I don't think we're going to have 80 million at Benfica for Osman. I don't think I don't think Carex is on the Graham Potter challenge Graham Potter Birmingham legend Despite the fact he's meant to be a Villa fan. Uh, you're beginning a season two. You've got promo promoted into the third tier of Sweden. Nah. Garex, I'm in season five here. Uh, I am in League Two, having started out in the Vanarama South. And I've not got promoted yet. I've, I've, I've cheated by moving clubs twice. And I'm still only in League Two. Uh, Ed's with us. Good to see you, Ed. Uh, where are you, Eddie? Are you back in Singapore? Are you hot stepping around? By the way, Barham, save going good. Beat first division. Uh, KFM is like um, the YMCA, I think, isn't it? So you beat the YMCA of Oslo in the cup. Lost to Trump style, and though standard, standard. You can't beat a great club like that. Uh, Titan, the squad looks impressive. I have to see if you've got some money to spare. 
Callum Hayes is saying get Jerry Yates. Ed's back home. Roaming playmaker. Uh, how far, playmaker, can I fail upwards before we're into fraud territory? Before we're into Roberto Martinez territory? Because I feel like we've got to stick around and get something done. To be fair, if we hadn't have jumped ship the first time at Kingstonian, we were going well. I don't know what kind of season Kingstonian are having this year. Um, an average one. They're, you know, they're on the cusp of the playoffs. They were second when we left. We could have got a promotion there, but the chat said it was time to go. So we jumped to Sutton. And the rest, as they say, well, it was agony. Let's be honest. It was agony. Um, Sorry, Cal. Yeah, there you go. Roberto Martinez in action. Car, whether you're doing well or not, you're here. But that lovely face and the soothing voice. Oh, there's nothing soothing today about it, Car. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I've got my, I've got my soothers on standby. I've got, I've got my strepsils there as backup as well. We're raspy today. We're struggling. I do I do have problems with vocals. Every three to six months, I do get a touchy old uh, tonsillitis. And it doesn't go down well. Doesn't go down well. Coloured Sands is with us. 29 watching and only nine likes. Sort it out. Uh, that's probably mainly my family there. They they never like. It's, it's rare that they watch. Joshua Brown. If you want to succeed at Benfica, just start Peter Musa every game the moose by the way joshua did i miss another message of you here we go you don't think you could do the pick a country and its neighbor thing outside of europe you'd make it an anywhere but europe journey man so not really border adventures then just adventures um it could be i i have looked i, I look joshua i don't want to give you too big a peek behind the iron curtain but but I have had a look at South America. And I, I do think there is some fun to be had. Um, we might just need the addition of some uh, of some custom databases. But I've not discounted it. Not discounted it. Uh, Llama does have a soothing voice. Doesn't know. It's not soothed at all today. Uh, even Ferguson might be something. Oh, Evan Ferguson, sorry. Misread that, and I have a son called Evan. Uh, have a look at Malachi Fagan Walcott if you need somebody reliable. Might consider joining, uh, unless you are still going off the scout report. Oh, I'm so old school, car. I'm so old school. And not only am I old school, car. Let's just give you a little look at the finances here. It's not good. Uh, I accidentally, without now, and tell me, car, whether you knew this was a thing. I sold some of my players. And I bought in half a million pounds worth of transfer revenue. Gave me a bit of a transfer kitty. And I accidentally blew it all on the high win bonus for the season. I didn't know that was a thing. People have sent me screenshots. If you just read the information, apparently it's definitely a thing. So I've got no money. I've got no... By the way, Callum, what are you up to, Hazy? Let's just get into this. Um, Evening, everybody. <laughs> The wonderful individual that is Callum Hayes is gifting out memberships. Cal, I didn't even know that gifted memberships was a thing. So A, thank you for the education. And B, thank you for the generosity. That, that is very, very kind of you. Cal, an absolute hero of the stream. Uh, Isaac, should do what Upamakanu did and go to an opera singer for training. Is that a thing? I don't think... I don't think I'd ever need to be able to sing. I just need uh, a less raspy voice at times. Greeno, Blues Legends. I am likely to see Jerry Gill's Bath City. Good right back, Jerry Gill. Over the weekend twice. Taunton Town at Twerton Park on Good Friday. Is this a is this a, a limerick? Taunton Town at Twerton Park on Good Friday. And then Weymouth on Easter Monday. Sounds like you are good. By the way, Greeno. In fact, everybody... Probably we should announce this because I might need your help with some stuff. My eldest two children, th there are three young llamas. The eldest two have decided that they want to do the 92. 
which we are not doing in a season, by the way, because that's carnage and expense, the like that I, I cannot, cannot bear. Craig, did you, did you, uh, Craig, have you just signed up as a member? Have you got, you've done it twice. Craig has signed up as a member. Did you get Callum's gifted membership? Callum, you are, you are an absolute gem of a person, Cal, an absolute gem. Anyway, Greeno, the oldest two have decided they want to do the 92. Um, I want tips for nice clubs. Nice clubs. Craig, you enjoy that gifted membership. You can now start uh you can now start enjoying some uh, some rather jaunty little nom emotes, I believe. Uh and I would imagine, Greeno, that you've been to most most grounds around your neck of the woods. But you also used to live uh, in Manchester, if I'm right, Greeno, and Portsmouth as well. So let me know. Where are your good clubs that take kids? I want a decent standard of football. Obviously, you know, as decent as you can get in Leagues 1 and 2. But I want hospitality. That's what I'm after. Not, like, if people were to come and watch Birmingham play, I'm not sure the locals would would roll out the red carpet. I'm not sure it'd be the warmest of welcome. Certainly it's not for away fans. Certainly I, I cringe when I take my own kids to Birmingham. Come on, Greeno, hit me with your tips. If we're going to do the 92, and I'm, I, by the way, I've penciled it in as a 10-year thing. If we're going to do the 92, where are the where are the clubs we should start, Greeno? Let me know. Um, we've missed we've missed some more as well. Border Adventures has brand recognition. We have to keep the title. I don't think it has brand recognition with anybody other than you, JB. Uh, Quality Spurs youth player is Brooklyn's Lions Foster. That is an estate agent. Uh, Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin's in. How am I doing, Benjamin? A little sore, Benjamin. A little under the weather. Uh, burning up a little as well. But we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Trying to trying to power through. Uh, Carex has done that many times. We all learn the hard way. Uh, uh, you always thought it came from the overall balance. Talis, uh, how are you finding the kits? Uh, let me check. Have I actually put the latest ones in? I'm not sure. I have not put the latest ones in, Talis. Been a little bit out of action this week, Talis. We had... Uh, I had a, a little family funeral on Wednesday on Mrs. Lama's side of the family. Um, that's kind of like wiped out my week a little bit, as has the illness. So apologies, Talis. I'm still on these, these version 1.0 kits here, which is remiss of me after all of your hard work. 37-year-old uh, Chiro Mobile is out of contract in your save. You're having difficulties. Well, just don't control yourself then. Snap up the Chiro. Um, Isaac. Basically, Upa Meccano kept losing his voice after games, so went to an opera singer to help him train his vocal cords to shout in the right way. Could be, could be a thing. Could be a thing. Uh, Monkey in the Fog is with us. Welcome in. Uh, work conference call meeting. You have to tune in 15 minutes late. Unacceptable. No, no, no. It's great that you're here at all, as it is for Wolf Tracks. Greetings and salutations. Uh, we are okay. We are under the weather, Wolf. We've had a very busy week, and we're about to play Sutton United as well, which is a little bit of the old grudge, I think. Uh, Craig, fun that you read Evan <laughs> as even. In Norway, they use Ud as a boy's name, so you used to joke we would name our twin boys Odd and Even, but pronounce it Odd and Evan. Yeah, I, I have a son called Evan, and I still read that wrong, Craig. I'm not at my best. You think Llama is the only one you've seen pulling off a raid from YouTube to the other streaming platform? The, the team. We can say its name, Titan. We can say its name. We're all friends here. Uh, I, I, I'm not great at my raids, but Kev does tend to go live, the United City FM, as I'm finishing. So that is, of course, where we should all go. Um, Jam Thoughts. Oh, thank you very much, Jam Thoughts. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a, it's a busy old week. Wednesday was a toughie. Uh, which is, of course, why there was no stream on Wednesday. And I was going to try and squeeze it into yesterday, but I had kids to tutor. 
Uh, and I was, yeah, I was a little under the weather as well. Uh, Ken Solf is with us. Welcoming Ken Solf. And beating Sutton will mean, will mean more than the three points. So here we go. Let me show you what's been going on. Um, I'm pretty sure we left our last stream with a nil-nil draw with Bradford City. We'd lost to Sheffield Wednesday on pens. We had a good win against Exeter. Uh, we then lost to Bristol Rovers in the whatever they call this nonsense, the, 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 the Papa John's shenanigans. Since then, we've been on a good run. But I don't think we are, I don't think the tactic's working. And I'm going to say, I don't think the tactic's working, okay? So have a look at this. We won 1-0 against Boston. 17 shots, 8 on target, looks good. An XG of 1.82 looks good. But one goal scored against an XG of 1.82 is a familiar tale for us this season. I'm not sure whether this happens on a regular. Here we go. 1-0 again, but an XG of above what we scored. Uh, we probably performed above our XG in the Swindon game because we won it 3-1, although you know, not a million miles above it. 0-0 uh, with Mansfield. And there you go. An XG of 1.4. 21 shots. 5 on target. Absolute zip in terms of goals so this is a bit of an ongoing trend um some games we've been fine uh stevenage oh there you go look we outperformed our xg against stevenage but in plenty of our games we we've struggled we've struggled two goals xg of 1.35 from 23 shots so we're not creating good enough chances we're not creating strong enough goal scoring chances we're having plenty of shots but i think they are they're poor efforts that they, they are not right in front of the goal tappings uh, is this our shot map of this one here let's have a look so as you can see, look, you know, you've got half the efforts are from outside of the box. Some of these are from pretty wide angles. How many are from inside the six yard box? We've got four of them. What's going on with those shots? We, you know, we missed the target with three of them from inside the six yard box. Uh, maybe some of those were headers, though. Nine of our shots are with our head. I don't know. The tactics not quite playing. Not quite playing at the moment. Uh, Titan Llama, you don't want to sound demanding. But you're desperately waiting for another video giving you obscure save ideas. Funny you should ask. Uh, fabulous, fabulous save idea scriptwriter Simon Thornley was in my DMs this morning with a script. Uh, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, Titan. They're not a quick video to make. I know they're only about five or six minutes long, but they can take anywhere from for 15, you know, 10 to 15 hours to put together. So I wouldn't I wouldn't expect one this weekend, but um, <clears throat> by next weekend could be a thing. Could be a thing. Greeno, decent places to start. Here we go. Burton would be right up there. That's nice because Burton's less than an hour away for me. Enjoyed Lincoln. I reckon that's ninety minutes for me. Both not. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where I live. Fabulous. AFC Wimbledon. If you fancy a bit more of a trip. Well, the idea of the ninety-two, uh, Greeno is that we're starting from scratch because none of the five llamas, uh, three little llamas, Mrs. Llama and myself, none of us have ever been to the same stadium. We've all been to football matches, but none of us have all been to the same stadium at the same time. Uh, so we're thinking about starting it on Good Friday with Oxford versus Sheffield Wednesday. But Burton would be good. Lincoln would be good. And, and and Wimbledon is who Mrs. Lama supports. So that would be good too. Uh, Benjamin, going back to 92. Here we go, Benjamin. If your beloved club does get promoted this season, you'd say Woking. Um, by the way, someone I used to teach used to play for Woking then. Even though it's a massive slog travel-wise, they have a good bar. Where is Woking, Ben? Is that down in Surrey? Am I right? Rook, Blub. Uh, you're not finished with the Reds versus uh, Kashiwa game. It's got to be a priority, Rook. Ed, have you tried a staggered front two? Uh, so the striker left and the AMCR right. I ha what I have done, uh, Ed, is I've done that. 
So I've left the striker central and I've offset the shadow striker. What I've not done is the full on offset. Should we should we try all that against Sutton? Would work the ball into the box help. One thing I've just done, got no game, for this game, is I've taken Boateng and I've taken Mohamed and I've put shoot less often on them uh, to try and stop midfielders from the edge of the box pinging in efforts. Just tried that. Um, uh, got, uh, Titan, what a coincidence you'll be expecting it this afternoon. Uh, work may start this evening on it, Titan, but they do take a while. Just a little look under the hood there. They take a while. Uh, but, you know, Simon Thornley, who may well be in later, uh, he does all of the hard work. He writes fabulous scripts. So, yeah, he does good work. He does good work. Um, also, whipped crosses seems to work well. So, I had low crosses on previously. Because we were starting Edmondson as a target forward with jumping reach of 16, I took the low crosses off. Uh, Ed, Edmondson has not played well. Um, three goals in 13 appearances. I've taken him out of the side. and We've got a, a young loan signing, Delbert Humphreys, in. Uh, he's come in from Fulham, and we're not paying a penny towards his wages. He's only got finishing of seven, but he's got two assists and a goal in one start and three subs appearances. So we could we could put the we, I don't know about whipped crosses because neither of our wingers can cross. Uh, we got crossing of nine for Diallo, and then Ockerflex, who is on holiday at the moment, he's got crossing of eight. And I'm led to believe for whipped crosses, they need to be able to deliver a decent ball. Jones is a bit better, old JJ, but he's only 11. So I don't know. How about I go back to the low crosses for today's game? That would seem to make sense. JM Thoughts is getting back to work. A laters to you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Hercules needs some of the old llama razzle dazzle in a save ideas video. We'll see if we can razzle dazzle them in somewhere. Uh, ben Benjamin, careful, Benjamin. Whoa, Benjamin, Benjamin. You've got completely the wrong end of the stick, Benjamin. Goodness me. From Birmingham, it's through. I don't live in Birmingham anymore. I was refugeed out of there as a youngster, Benjamin. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I reckon it'd be a bit quicker from where I am now, Benjamin. Not massively. Uh, I kind of live uh, in Northamptonshire now, Benjamin. So I'm quite close to the M1. So I reckon Woking would be... A a little bit quicker. Matty is in. How's the season going? It's going well. I should probably show people the league table, Matty. We're second in it, but we've got a game in hand. So we could go top if we were to win it. How are Milan getting on, Matty? How's your team? Who have they got this weekend? Craig. No, it's a bit of a trek. Craig. This nine the doing the 92. We're gonna we're gonna be tracking at times, aren't we? Uh but if you if you want to start up north. Carlisle United at home on Good Friday have a deal. Tenner for over 18s, five for under 18s. Trying to get 10 grand to the game. God, the place will be buzzing with that, wouldn't it? By the way, Craig, I quite fancy Carlisle as a little double up. Maybe uh, a couple of days in the Lake District, or maybe it's like a little stop off on the way up to Edinburgh. I would like to try and work Carlisle in there. What's the atmosphere like, Craig, when it's, you know, if you get 10,000 in there, what's it like? Soccer scenario. Love this tactic to you. Well, you might be able to help us out, soccer scenario, because although we're getting good results, we are struggling to score goals at the moment, soccer scenarios. We are scoring way less than our XG each game at the moment. Uh... You know, 21 shots and none of them are hitting the back of the net. I've not nailed it yet. You played a similar system to this when you were able to work work in the university system in the States. Where were you coaching in the States? We want to know more about that. Whipped works well with runners. I can't say that. Whipped worked well. Whipped works well with runners into the box like the AMC. I tell you what, let's go all out then. Let's go all out. Let's whip them in. I don't think we've got the players to do the whipping, 
but we've got the players to get on the end of the whippage. Uh, you'll be honest, nothing gets you more pumped for the start of a new save than Llama telling you the backstory of a team you've never heard of. Titan, you old charmer. All right, I'll get started on it this weekend. I'll get started on it. Uh, Greeno, Oxford Good Friday is a decent shout. Could follow that up with Easter Monday with Mansfield, Northamptonshire or Walsall. So Northamptonshire, obviously, are local to me. I've been to Sixfields. My eldest son's, we went and watched a terrible game at Sixfields together. But the five of us, have, we've not even been to Sixfields. And it's, I don't know, 20 minutes from where I live. Uh, I've never been to Mansfield. Uh, I've been to Walsall. Uh, Walsall got a very odd stadium. They've got one stand that is like, it should be in like a 60,000 arena. And then the rest of it is only kind of like two rows deep. Uh, so Craig, an hour ago, they were on almost 8K. That's fabulous. Thought you were closer. No, not close. As, well, I mean, I'm not a million miles from Birmingham. 50 minutes maybe from Birmingham. Yeah, I'm not in Birmingham anymore. Uh, still account for traffic three hours, you reckon, Benjamin? Well, we, we'll need Woking to get promoted. Are they in the playoff hunt, Benjamin? Blackpool is always a good away day, apparently, plus always a great atmosphere. Is that right, Cal? Because, you know, I, I can get to Manchester from where I live, surprisingly. When you use the M6 toll... It's only just over an hour to Manchester. I reckon Blackpool, I've got to be able to do in... Can I do Blackpool in two, do you reckon, Cal? If I can get to Manchester in one. Boris Lav's in. Good to see you, Boris Lav. By the way, look, where are we? It's it's 32 minutes past one. I st I've not got a game played yet, but I'm having fun with the chat. You've got some great suggestions here. Atmosphere should be great, especially as you're pushing for promotion. Uh, fitting in the Lakes and or Edinburgh is a good idea. Yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, last Easter, Craig, we were going up to Edinburgh because my lit list really wanted to see some giant pandas. Uh, and we, we got to Carlisle. We did a stopover in Carlisle, went to the Lake Districts, travelled on to Edinburgh the next day. The car broke down about 20 minutes from Edinburgh. And uh, the RAC said, just turn around and get this car to your garage as quickly as possible. So we need to do that trip again. Uh, Isaac, silly question, but how do you complete the 92 with teams getting relegated? Uh, so we, if you watch a team that gets relegated out of the Football League, Isaac, then they no longer count as part of your 92 anymore. And you, you'd have to watch the teams that get promoted in. But I've been doing a bit of reading and it counts if you saw the club that's promoted into the 92 whilst they were still a 90, uh, whilst they were still a non-league club. So... That counts. And I've seen quite a few non-league clubs as well. Callum, or as Roy would say, <laughs> whipped works well. well. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Kenzo, Milan play Napoli. What, for third time in 16 days? Ed, how's the OI setup? Uh, Mike led a great discussion on Discord recently. Very useful and it's effective. Tutored me on how to mid-block works and counter-press in different phases. I would imagine, having also been tutored by said Mike, that I am fairly similar. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I have been playing around with tactics, so let's just check what's been carried over. Nah, all right. So because I've got a new tactic, it's not carried over. Okay, so let's get that going. Uh, opposition instructions. Let's go by position. So we want to leave the back four alone. But we will press wing backs as if they are wingers. And we will be all over DMs like the proverbial rash. Uh, We're going to show you onto your right foot, you onto your left foot. Same for you. See them down the, the byline. Uh, and then these two squirrels. Let's do the same for you. So mark you, press you. Is that a U2 song? Mark you, press you, tackle you hard? Might not be. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, winger, winger. Don't mark. Yes, press. And right foot. And let's get the tackles in. And the left winger. Let's get the tackles in. 
Good job you entered this, Ed. I've been tweaking around with the tactics and I started a new blank template, so... I lost it all. I lost it all. Um... Uh, by the way, sorry, got plenty more going on in the chat. So it's hard to replicate exactly what we did in FM, but you'd have your left midfielder move underneath the striker with the fullback overlapping, and the shadow striker would either drop in or run into the channels. But yeah, aim to get in high quickly, then overload with the fullbacks. One of the mids would hold in front of the CBs. I've got, a, I've got a similar system with that. My wingbacks are only on defend, but I'm still trying to get them forward while still making them quite cautious. Uh, Borislav, which is your favourite league to play in? Norway, France, England. Not necessarily in that order. Uh, 1888 bash. It's the Glasgow Derby on the 18th. Get up to that. 1888 bash if you can give me advice on how to get tickets for that tell me tell me because i've looked into it before and tickets are like unicorns aren't they uh burton they fix goalkeepers with the latest update haven't seen some of the goalkeeping errors that's encouraging burton I like that also it was uh in wilmington got to work with some good players coupling the usl champ right now it was a blast, but lost in the playoffs before you left. Soccer scenarios. That sounds like a great time, though. Are you still in the States? Uh, you should try... <laughs> you should try to get to a Bromley game or whoever you are managing. Uh, that would be nice. That would be nice. Okay, let's lock down the midfield. Lock down the midfield. Lock down the midfield. And with the AMs, lock them down. They do all the damage. And then you all the way down to you. Press. You three. Tackle. You three. Tackle. You onto your right. You onto your left. And then strikers. Let's not mark them tight, but let's press them when they're on the ball. There we go. There we go, Ed. That's the setup. Don't know how that ties in with Mike's latest thinking. Titan, do you have anyone that inspired you to start playing FM and creating content on YouTube? Uh, nobody inspired me to start playing FM. I started playing when I was about 12. Um... Uh, I wasn't inspired by anybody. And the person that inspired me to start making YouTube content was, was not making FM YouTube content. They were making economics. <laughs> kind of like revision videos. And that inspired me to start a video making educational videos. And I didn't start making Football Manager stuff until some years later. Uh, Benjamin, you're third in the league. Uh, you still got the playoffs and the fear of either Wrexham or Notts County. Uh, 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 who've got Macaulay Longstaff. Yeah, doing very well, isn't he? Uh, Ed, are you still not using shouts? Try not to. Borislav, why do you like France? And can you advise a team from League 2? Maybe Parry FC. You'll find a nice little video in the Save Ideas lot about Parry FC, if that floats your boat. If I was you, Borislav, if I was going for a Paris club, I'd go down to uh, the third league in France and go Red Star Paris. That would be... That would be that would be me. Uh, isn't it a Coldplay song? I will fix you pressing, tapping, wicking crosses. I was thinking of that hold me thrill. I can't remember. I don't like you two. Uh, Callum, Discord pick incoming. Uh, cheeky Discord plug. I tell you what, Cal. I tell you what. If you're able to put an invite, Cal, into the chat, do it. Cal, by the way, who is a stalwart of the manager's seat Discord. I'm going to get this game going in the background as well. We're about to take on Sutton. That's a big one. But Cal is an absolute stalwart of the manager's seat Discord, but he has his own now. He has his own channel in the manager's seat Discord for all of his graphics and his kits, and people go in there and they make requests, and he, he posts them. But he's now he's getting so big 
pal. He's, he's so big time that he has his own, dis, you know, his own distinct uh, Discord server as well. Uh, we're going to try and put... You meant your Discord. No, no, no. Cal, we're promoting your Discord now. If you can get a link to your own Discord in this chat without the chat bots being a little bit over officious, you go for it. Because if people want kits, Cal's got the Discord for you. Uh, Craig, if that was the old firm derby someone mentioned, it's behind closed doors for the next couple. Well, I certainly won't be getting a ticket then. JB, uh, you should visit every team with whom you win the top five leagues. Short trip. Uh, Kabarachik, hi. First time in your stream. Remember, we all hate teaching. Speaking of border adventures, welcome in. Um, we, we still hate teachy i still can't say teachy i'm not saying that correctly am i uh soccer scenarios you are you left high level soccer and now you coach high school soccer actually got to win the north carolina state champs with a team from wilmington a big decision was to stay here at the beach uh, and you got married so soccer scenarios are you from the u.s originally or did you move to the u.s to coach in the first place uh you, oh, well, there you go. You miss it sometimes, but FM fills that gap. Uh, Greeno, Scotland is a good shout for a trip. Often a Friday night game in the lower leagues, a full schedule, uh, a Saturday, and then games on a Sunday. Tickets easy apart from the old firm. You once did Dumbarton, Sterling, and Queen of the South, not Queen of the Stone Age, uh, in four days. Uh, Rook's finished his game. Welcome in, Rook. Uh, Noble the Savage, the first thing that made you look into playing championship manager was someone who recommended it from the group who played Manager by Mail you were a member of. I used to play those games, Noble. Anyone remember? I remember filling in the little team and putting it in an envelope with a pound of sellotape to it. Uh, Ed, you started FM when you were in the army and you uh, and stuck at home to recover from an injury for three months. At the recommendation from a bunkmate. Uh, Craig, with your bad hearing, you thought of saying we all hate it. I oh, hate that too, Craig. Hate that too. Uh, okay, here we go. Sutton United. If I tune out now, forgive me. This feels like an important game, I'll be honest. Um, by the way, up to 20 likes. That's a bit more like it, isn't it? That's a bit more like it. No pun intended. Okay. Um, what are we going to say here? Um, the fans expect to win. Show them that the praise is justified. By the way, Sutton are not having a good season. They're 23rd out of 24th. So we're losing this. Um, I'm going to say that. No. I'm going to say this. I'm going to go with the assistant. Okay, that's nice. Let's get into the opposition. What do we got? Don't know Alec Quinn or Harrison or Alfie. Ben, good life. Do, 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 do. Uh, Chris Packham, Jack Sowerby was there, uh, Phillips was there, there's the McAtee that we signed before we left, and then they've got they've got JT up front, and JT is quick, isn't he? Now, that's interesting, maybe I should just, I'm going to increase the gap in midfield, but I'm going to try and make sure JT doesn't get in behind. That sounds sensible. Here we go, then. We're off to the races. Joshua Brown, who, who, what happened? Who, you heard Tichi. By the way, it's Tihi. How do you know that? How do you know that? James Harris. <laughs> Jarris. Uh, do you miss teaching any classes at all? Maybe a year 12 economics class. Out of all the lessons I've ever taught, James Harris, no, not that one. And you know why. Welcome in, James, by the way. Saw a cheeky little, uh, what did I see a little cheeky Twitter follow? I wasn't sure it was you. Always nice when the old students drop by. Uh, soccer scenarios. We're getting a pro team here soon, though. What is that MLS? Yeah, uh, uh, Carolina getting an MLS side. Seems like we made the right choice moving to Bromley based on results. Based on results, Wolf, but not. Not based on performances. The tactic worries me. It's not working. We're not clinical enough. Anyway, we're underway. Here we go. Only took me 45 minutes to start a game. That's a record. Um, 
This seems... Is this a bit slow? What's going on here? What's happening? No, that should be all right. Why are they moving the ball around so slow? Get into them. Good life. Do, 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 do. There's that space in midfield because I've moved the defensive line back. And there's JT getting in behind and they've won a penalty before we've touched the ball. Perfect. Don't do it, JT. Do I not like that? So go. This is so predictable. Sutton United, 23rd. If we win, we could go top. This is our old club. We give a penalty away and concede a goal before we've touched the ball. Brilliant. Brilliant. I I'm not shouting, am I? I was about to go straight into the shouts and berate them, but we're not shouting. Here we go. We're in behind. Here's Humphreys. Just pass it. Don't do that. You see, all right, okay, let's pause for a second. Can we can we go backwards? Where are we? Okay. So this this is why. This is why the tactic's not working for me. So there we go. Look. That looks like a good chance is emerging there. That that does. That looks like we're about to get in on goal. But then, okay, there. That looks like we're going to run through and we're going to have an effort on goal. But I don't know. Now they've recovered. Now that it's two against one, it deflects off a player and goes harmlessly to the goalkeeper. I don't know. I don't know. That's not how I want to play. It's not incisive. It's not direct. It's not. I mean, I, I know maybe he just doesn't have the pace, but, I mean, he's in behind there. You know, and who's who's this? I mean, I know that good life isn't quick, but... I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe just square it there. Just square it. But we're not creating good enough chances. That's the problem. We're not creating good enough chances. Hence why I feel like this tactic still isn't working. Um, it, it's been getting results, but it's not producing good chances. And I felt like it's only a matter of time before we slip up. This could be that game. Here we go. Here's the Nibster. Tackled. Standard. Diallo. And again, look, Sutton have got us playing all in front of them now. Here's Robbo. We're back with our own back line. So it's all, it's, it's all in front of Sutton at the moment. That's poor. Coming straight back. Okay, we've won it again. So we want to get the ball wide. We want to attack a fullback. That's good. Now we want delivery into the box. Delivery into the box. Delivery into the box. That was better. Not brilliant, but better. Boateng. Here's the nibster. Oh, you see. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Anyway, I've got catching up to do. Um, when doesn't the tactic worry? Yeah, always does. Uh, no, it'll be USL, so that's third division. Uh, you'll end up being a stepping stone club for players trying to get into MLS because, yeah, there's no pro. I'm quite familiar with MLS, Soccer Scenarios. Used to be a big Metro Stars fan. Uh, Callum, this is the kind of game that would ruin your acker. There we go, and we're behind already. Uh, Greedo, watch out. There's a Humphreys about. One for the kit. I. You've lost me with that, Greeno, and I'm your era. Uh, it's not Jay Humphrey. Goodness me, he's a bad pundit, isn't he? Uh, Wolf, go from cautious to balanced so you're not allowing a terrible team to play onto you. But I want all teams to play onto me, and I want to hit them. Uh, you'd, remove, you'd remove away from cautious. It seems to invite pressure. That's the idea. The whole system... It's kind of based around inviting that pressure. And with cautious, your strikers are more likely to come and get goal side of DMs and kind of try and close them out. And that's what this system is all about, trying to restrict space in midfield. Um, and so defensively, I think it plays fine. It's just going forward. And I, I don't know whether a change of mentality would help that or not, I'll be honest. I'm on the verge of ditching the shadow striker, by the way, and going back to a 4-4-2. Swindon, 
sweepstake if you had 15 games for me returning to the 442. Um, that's poor. Magoma. By the way, uh, soccer scenarios. Magoma is... Sorry, no. Mohamed in midfield. Here he is. That's the player that's meant to be locked. Oh, that's a good goal. Uh, that's the player that's meant to be locking down the midfield for us. That's our one that sits in front of the back four. Got him as a ball-winning midfielder on support with hold position. And he's just meant to kind of just... Well, he's not sat in front of the back four there, granted. But that's his role. That's good. I like that. Delivery into the box. We like that. To get the striker's goal side of a DM, you could try a position mark and allow you to go... Yeah... But I find that uh, when you're on standard, they, they don't fulfill that duty very well. That could be a me thing. Sowerby. Diallo. Yeah, look, here we go. I want to be direct. I want to break now. But, yeah. Is this cautious in action? I mean, my wingers are on attack. All right, that's one of my wingers. There's my striker. Where's my shadow striker? There's Nibsy. He ain't busting a gut to get forward. Where's the right winger? Boateng. Jones. Yeah. They're not exactly bombing on, are they? So the striker is actually getting further and further away from the support. Now Nibs is starting to get a bit of a wriggle on. Right, that's a good chance anyway. But only one man in the box. You are right, folks. You are right. Do we, do we completely take the handbrake off? Go devil may care and go balanced? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, hang on, we got new people joining us as well. We've got Neil's in. This Sutton team looks decent. I wonder who built them. Not me. <laughs> they seem to have stripped away everything that we did. Most of it's, uh, most of it's a new team. But welcome in, Neil. Good to see you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Goodness me, Neil, you only got half a norm. You only got half a norm for a minute there. Humphreys with his first touch. Yeah, soccer... Su oh, no, sorry, Wolf Track. You're expecting Sutton to have the skill and talent to attack uh, you properly when they're sitting back and trying to not allow goals. Release your attack. No, I don't I don't think that's... That's not how I see it, that Wolf. So if they're uh, kind of like sat in, if they're kind of compacting the defence, and if they've got something like 10 men behind the ball... What I'm trying to do is coax them out, you know, like, you know, trying to get a an animal out of its lair and then we exploit that space in behind. That's the plan, at least, because uh, we do not have the attack to play through a packed defense. I'm trying to I'm trying to trick them, do the old switcheroo on them. It's just not working. Ed, to get the striker's goal side of a deer. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I've read that there. Gamer legend, welcome in. You feel this team is missing a certain Chris Sutton. Um... It's missing a lot of things. Uh, 11 players and a manager, I would say. Humphrey was a reference to a milk advert from the early 80s. Mm, a red and white straw that would be trying to pinch your milk. Lost me, Greeno. Lost me with that. And it's rare that I don't get an early 80s reference. Uh, a deep line forward in support might do a bit better in providing chances if you can draw out a centre-back. Maybe that's why on Shadow Striker might not be pull oh sorry, the Shadow Striker might not be pulling a centre back out. I mean Nibsy is Nibs. He, he could he can play up front. He could be a deep lying forward. Could the other striker be a, a deep lying playmaker on support? Oh, I don't know. By the way, Simon Thornley. Good afternoon, everybody. Simon, if your ears have been burning, we've been talking about save ideas. There's there's demand from the chat for a new one. And I said, yeah, you'd messaged me today. So that's exciting. Cautious players don't bomb up the field. They prioritise defence. Yeah. Yeah, and I like defence. We need to find a bit more of a balance, though, maybe, Wolf. So we're going to try, we're going to try balance. <laughs> we need to try a bit more of a balance. There we go. Uh, Rook, maybe having your DM sitting on the field might not be a good idea. Hard to play defence like that. Roby got in just in time for the Lama Derby. You did indeed. Uh, you're playing the trap. Which trap? I'm trapping outside, Wolf. Uh, Meant men deep line forward. Yeah. I mean, this is a jaunty little tune, isn't it? Maybe we could try Nibsy. 
You found in a 4-4-1-1 an attacking midfielder is a good role for behind the striker. Shadow striker's not been doing it for me. Uh, how the heck are you, are you confused the rest with your peas? Dallas, easily done. Easily done. Okay, here we go. Let's try a bit of this then. So we've gone to balanced and we've brought in a deep line forward. I mean, that is, that is devil may care. That's all out attack. And we are back on level terms. Here we go. Corner ball is Boateng. By the way, we're looking for South End scores as well, by the way. South End, top of the table. Kind of keep an eye out for them. Here's Diallo. That's good. I want to see him attacking a fullback. That's good. That's not so good. But we got back up here. Mm. My wing backs aren't backing up well enough, are they? They're staying right back as part of a four. Fullbacks are not being released. And we need to do a bit more of that, don't we? Here's Diallo. That's a good ball in. That's a good header. Okay, sprightly. We might have a look at some more things at halftime. Six shots, two on target. XG just above a half. Mm. Here's Chris Packham. Come on then, win the ball. No, okay, don't. Uh, there's their Mackety. I don't know whether I've got our Mackety on the bench because he was getting very tired. That's a good spell of dominance there. Here we go. Another highlight before the 40-minute mark. Mackety again. We've won it. Richards. That's long and a bit aimless. We do have pass it shorter on our centre-backs. That's what we want. Play it out to the wingers. Now go. Okay, let's build again. I want to switch play out to the other wing now. Out to the other wing. That's the badger. That's lovely. Oh, but then the chance disappeared again, didn't it? Uh, again, I felt like we were in for a second and then not. That, that seems like we're in on goal there, doesn't it? And then not so much. Poor first touch, maybe? I don't know. Felt like we were in. Looks like we're going to go to halftime 1-1. We'll catch up. By the way, we'll catch up on the chat at halftime. One more chance. Corner. Here we go. Boateng's on it. Which post are you going to hit here? He's gone far. Magoma. Oh, he's hit the bar. Oh, it's starting to become a bit frustrating now. Ah, and over the bar. We've had a good number of efforts. They've not done that much. Okay, we'll think on on the team talk. Here we go. Gaffer, you could always try shorter passing to move the ball around and can't catch the defence. Catch, catch the defence out of position. Ah, I can't speak, Wolf. I worry, though, Wolf, that that might stunt our counterattacks a little. Which, as you've seen, <laughs> we're not that great. They're not quite as direct as I would like. Um, I'm going to say this is absolutely unacceptable. Um... Let's let's try this then. What have we got? Hmm. No, okay, we're going to do it this way. So these boys are going to now cut inside. And we're going to turn these into supporting wing backs and try and get them to overlap out the side and deliver because they've got better delivery than the wide players have. So his crossing is 12. Yeah, that's where we want delivery. Humphreys is doing all right. His nibs isn't. We've got Edmondson, who we could bring on as a target forward. And then we're pretty much resort, resort, we've pretty much resorted to how we were playing for the last four seasons. But Magoma, we're going to keep an eye on. Uh, uh, Soccer Snarries, you've got to head out. Hope the tactical changes. Well, I doubt it, Soccer Snarries. But thank you for dropping by. Talis, you do it all the time. Then notice and just shake your head. You've just accepted the silliness now. Talis, you're in good company here. GB, welcome in. Simon, lots more blocks post-update. Is that a thing, Simon? Because I am suffering from those. Should have passed to the poacher instead of keeping the ball. I don't think we even need a question mark there, Wolf. I mean, first time pass across the goal. That's what I'm after. Uh, 
Craig, with a bit of Google, Humphreys were for the 70s Unigate milk advert. I was not born in the 70s. There we go. There's my get out. Jesse, welcome in from Canada. Hope you're well. Also, I'm right about the wingbacks. Letting the wingbacks go might solve the problem because the inverted wingers can move off the lines. We're going to try it, Wolf. We've got 45 minutes against a poor team. So this is handbrake off time here. Armin, Lama. Uh, no, not Armin, Lama. Sorry, Armin. Lama, are you going to do videos? Are you going to do videos and not live streams? I will do videos again one day. Uh, it won't be until I finish teaching again, though. That's for certain. Uh, Ed, why not focus down the flanks? Um, because our good friend Mike tells me that playing a 4 4 2, uh, they will naturally go down the flanks anyway. Um, but this might force them to go down the flanks when the space is actually in behind. So I want to give the players the the kind of like the responsibility to make that decision. Playing a 4-4-2, we, you know, we've got overloads out wide on many teams. So we should funnel the ball out wide as a matter of course. But by instructing them to make it a team priority, if there was, you know, a shadow striker, for example, running through the middle, we might not hit them in favour of going wide. At least that's what I'm led to believe. Uh... You think they've nerfed low crosses in a good way or a bad way? Game of Legend, you remember block shots on FM21 being the main part of extended highlights? Ah. Uh, well, they're back. Uh, we need to keep an eye on Magoma. Don't let me forget Magoma. Magoma me in the chat. If you notice, he gets even worse. If he goes red, holler. Uh, here we go. Mohammed. See, now we should spread the ball out wide. He's said he's hacked down by Taylor. Animal. Wolves all the top, by the way. Oh, no. Southender must have just scored. They've gone top. Here we go. Boating. I'd love a cheap goal from a set piece. We don't get many cheap goals. Because we don't have a good set piece taker. Oh, we've got one, though. Is that offside? Manny Mont. it's counting okay trouble with that is that that's in no way due to any of the changes that we've made is it it's just a cheap set play goal I want to see some highlights that are, are based on the changes that we've made and we're strolling through the game and not seeing them are we here's our chance okay we're in possession of the ball what do we got Okay, now we want to play out wide. So we want to go outside. Mm. We're slow to do that because we're playing inverted wingers rather than wingers. Mm. Boateng, what do you got? Humphreys. Come on, Nibsy. No. No. No, no, no. That was not good from Nibs. We're behind our XG again. Ah, oh, another cheap goal. I still think we're going to... We've got three goals, but two really cheap ones. And our XG is above a two. I shouldn't be complaining because we're winning 3-1, but again, I don't know. We're not very fluid. That's a bit better, though. I like that, and I love that. I love those balls rolled across the six-yard box. Let's see how we look. So... Sutton has sat right in here. Look at this. They've got bank of four, DM, bank of four. How, how are we going to... We've got four pressed up against their back four. So that's quite good. The inverted wingers have really gone in. Look, we've got acres of space. Look at that. So if Boateng played a ball to his central midfield partner and he just played that ball through to the fullback, that would be beautiful. If Boateng played the ball to Mohamed and he released the opposite fullback, that would be beautiful. And we'd have four players hitting the box. Instead, it looks like Boateng has gone long. And I wish he hadn't. We've hit the bar again, but no. Didn't play where the space was, did we? By the way, they brought the bomb on. Okay, here we go, Robinson. 
Let's see if this gives us a highlight. Into the midfield. All right. That's good. He's He's got players in front. He's played it behind him. That's good. Oh, that's not. That's a nice chance. I like the way the inverted winger came in onto his stronger foot. That was nice. It's a goal scoring chance for Nibs. He just blew it. Okay. 80 minutes. Probably should have made a change a bit earlier. Let's get. No, let's get Bashir Humphreys on. Let's get his Nibs off. And Nibs has not impressed me. We'll get Edmondson on as a target forward. And let's get Lappers on as well. Boateng, pretty injury prone. In fact, we need to make two centre-half changes. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay. I'd like to see us create a chance that involves the fullbacks overlapping. Nibsy. Oh, he's not gone off yet. Oh, look, look at the space down the flanks. It's not a great pass, but that is where the space was. Here's the fullback. That's better. I like that. Play where the space is. He's on his wrong foot now. Uh, can't do anything. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Play where the space is. Oh, that's beautiful. Hmm. It's probably the easiest chance he's had, and he scored two. Mm -mm -mm. This is a proper highlight. Lapsley. That's nice. Could be offside that, but that's nice. Is that his hat trick for Humphreys as well? That's nice, but it was all through the middle. For a 4 4 2 team, I know we've got inverted wingers on now, but I'm looking at our right back. I feel like, am I being harsh here? Is that goal just a bit lucky? For me, the ball is there. That's the ball. All that space there. This one, is this just a bit lucky? Or am I being harsh? No, maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe I'm being harsh. Miss me singing good life. Do, 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 do. Apologies, Neil. I almost signed him, you know, just because I wanted to carry on doing the song, but I realised he wasn't very good. Uh, is the, this is the full-time highlight, isn't it? Okay, 4-1 win against Sutton. So only I could come out of a 4-1 a victory against Sutton feeling like the tactic's not working. Bearing in mind their goal was from a penalty as well. Uh, I, I just feel like the tactic's not working. Maybe I'm too pessimistic. Maybe the standards are too high. I mean... We, we're playing the ball into central midfield nicely. I don't know. We're about to assess. I'm going to read what you lot have said. Humphreys gets a 10. Uh, all right. Let's give him a bit of praise. That was good. Okay, let's see what you squirrels have been up to then. So, um, got it. Leave it to the play. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, Ed, though. I don't know. Uh, if I knew, we'd, we'd, we'd have got promotions before now, wouldn't we? Craig... It's Bromley. Should they be given the decision between through the middle or out wide? Are the players good enough? No. That's clear. Uh, Diedrich's in. What's up? How are you doing? Doing very well. A little bit raspy, Diedrich's, but uh, good to see you. Um, Neil, that's a big glass of Advocar you are drinking there. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a, little, a little bit of squash, Neil. A bit of squash. Uh, McGomer in the red. Thank I, 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 I didn't get him off anywhere near soon enough, did I? Cheap goal is still a goal. High width, pass into space, cross more often. Simon, let's just give you a little glimpse here. So, um, we got the high width. We got the pass into space. Um, cross more often, I'm guessing, would be like an, an instruction. Um, a cross from deep. I'm going to change these to wing backs on support. Which might be opening us up a little bit. But hopefully they will cross more. And if I save this as the Fred Savage. Let's load that up again. And let's get that in. 
deep line forward we like let's make these inverted so that that's the reverse savage there resave that and on the normal savage I'm, I think I'm abandoning the Shadow Striker. I think. Uh, Mads, are you at a new team? I am, Mads. Newish, newish. This is Bromley. Uh, last season, we were at Sutton United. We almost got them relegated. We managed to stay up. And Bromley were getting relegated down to the same division that we would have been in. And they had a bigger budget. So we decided to jump. By the way, I had this player. I had a contract agreed with him. And he chose Wimbledon. Sean Wright Phillips' son, I believe. He would have been good. Uh, Ed, trouble, uh, troubling to see the wing backs ignored when unmarked in his face. Indeed. Lama tears his whole team apart. It, is that just a bit lucky? What's the fullback doing? Uh, hump three, Neil, some of your best work. Uh, the Acre is still on. Well done. Uh, Simon, if wing back on support, maybe one of the CMs on defend. Oh, and so there's reasons for them not to be on defend. Um, and the reason is, and I don't know how I could show you, uh, but on defend, they won't be lateral, if that makes sense. So they won't be side by side, which closes off passing lanes easier than if they're kind of like one on top of the other. Does that make sense? If the central midfield are one on top of the other, uh, there's more space along the sides of them, which makes it easy to play through a two-man midfield. Whereas if they're both on support, they're kind of at the same level, side by side, and it makes them harder to pass through. Did I explain that well enough? I could really do with being in game to explain that. By the way, Simon, that's not that's not me speaking. That's just what I've been taught. Uh, hey, Gaffer, can you put forward the motion to call the second tactic Macho Man Randy Savage or just Randy Savage? So we've got the Fred Savage... And we have the Randy Savage. The the simpleton in me, though, Wolf, needs the reverse in there to remind me that it's just the same that with, with inverted wingers. Maybe we need a third tactic that becomes the Randy to mix it up. Do do we? Let's let's save the reverse Savage. Let's get a third tactic in there. Where maybe we try and open the game up even more. So. By the way. That is going to go to balanced. And so is that. And that, I mean, wow. That's that's attacking. For me, that's attacking. And if we save that up and we just call it Macho Savage. That's a bit that's a bit randy, isn't it? Uh, and you know, we're a goal down, ten minutes to go. We switch to the macho. And then we got the choice. You know, we can we can we can switch between the Fred and the reverse. And then when we're chasing the game, Macho's on. Macho's on. Um, Craig, should one of these be called the Lily? They should. I don't know whether our North American friends would, would wouldn't understand Lily. Uh, Benjamin, by the way, you missed your weekly dose of ASL last night. Uh, you were in Mika stream and may have made your team a touch OP. You have history, though, don't you, Benjamin? You do. Uh, our mutual friend's not been streaming much, has he, because of his internet issues? Ed, you would take the pass off, take off pass into space to limit the balls over the top too early in the transition. Hopefully, the team shift the balls wide more, especially because you have inverted wingers now, which will be coming narrow and leave space. Well, how about we leave pass into space on on the Fred, and we take it off? On the reverse savage and then we're really giving the opposition something to think about with those two different tactics uh, cow 
Where's this come from? The cream of the crop, oh yeah. Is that a macho, is that a macho man Randy Savage reference? Bit before my time in the old wrestling circles. There was a video doing the rounds with macho man Lily at, Lily Savage was in there. Uh, I'm not sure anyone knew what was going on. Lily Savage was in a video with macho man Randy Savage. Is that real? Uh, we got Grimsby Town next, by the way. Let's see where old Grimmers are. 15th. Should be winnable. By the way, lest we not forget. Here we go. Here we go. We almost forgot about half time today. Uh, I was doing a little bit of thinking about half time team talks, actually, based on. Obviously, on Monday, we started talking about Sarath Gareth, uh, Gareth Southgate, which, uh, in hindsight, let's be honest, that was a mistake. Should not have spoken about, uh, about England managers. It's my Achilles heel. I can't be allowed to talk about Gareth Southgate. Uh, I can't be allowed to talk about the state of English football. I can't be allowed to talk about the FA's blueprint for young players. Can't do any of that. Um, but it, uh, there was a name that came up. There was a name that came up during our little chat on Monday. And it got me thinking because I made the statement that many people disagree with. That Gareth Southgate is the best England manager of all time. And then I kind of I had a bit of buyer's remorse on that because somebody mentioned Bobby Robson. And ah. Uh, Mr. Bobby. And as a Birmingham City fan, if I could have any manager from history in as Birmingham manager right now, I would go Bobby Robson. And I know lots of people would say, oh, surely you would go Sir Alex Ferguson because, you know, the, the trophy record that he had was immense. But I'm not interested in trophies as a Birmingham City fan. I'm interested in romanticism in soul, in, in people that do and say the right thing, which is why I'm such a big advocate of Gareth Southgate and why I will never talk about him again. But for me, if I could pick any manager from history to take over as manager of Birmingham, it would be Sir Bobby. Um, by the way, the man next to him, Jose Mourinho, he gets a bad rap. Um, but when I used to manage a team and we were trying to raise funds for a new kit... I wrote to every manager in the Premier League and the then England manager, Roy Hodgson, and asked them if they could donate something, something signed that we could auction off to buy some new kit. And out of all of the managers in the Premier League, Jose Mourinho was the only one that responded. And he sent a little handwritten note wishing us luck. And he got Frank Lampard and John Terry to send us something as well. Off his own bat. Jose, Jose is a good man for me. He's a good man. But if I was to have my choice of managers from history to manage Birmingham, I would go Bobby Robson. My question for you is, remind me of your club that you support in real life and which manager from the entirety of history, British or otherwise, I'm tempted to even say football or otherwise, would you like to manage your club? Craig's already thinking Cluffy. Cluffy would be tremendous value um whether whether cluffy is quite as honorable as sir bobby i don't know i'm not sure uh jarris is going for bill shankly are you a liverpool fan jarris as well are you a liverpool fan uh the sleeping dragoon jose is a legend nuff said thank you for backing me up there liam's in okay you're a Villa fan. Well, we know you're a Liam. Uh, uh, you're a Villa fan, Liam. Got to be Fergie for you. Had mediocre players playing amazing. Cal, you will never not choose Ian Holloway. By the way, there's some clips doing the rounds of Ian Holloway on podcasts uh, talking about his deaf children. I, I defy you not to get emotional at that, Cal, if you've seen it. Uh, Mr. Truth, evening to you. Mr. Truth, we're discussing, by the way... What team you support and who you would have managing them if you could pick any manager from the history of football or another sport, if you wish. Um, Craig saying that Bill Shankly did manage Carlisle. So does that count? Well, I did not know that Shankly managed Carlisle. It absolutely counts. Rook is going for Bobby the Brain Hennon managing any football club. Rook, you're going to have to fill us in with who Bobby the Brain Hennon is. Is that is that a US sports coach? Uh, Isaac? Oh, hang on, Isaac. Whoa, Isaac. 
this is the man that's sending me memes about Steed Mulbronk here. You've got a massive soft spot for Andre Vias Boas. Where's that from? Is that as a man or as a manager? It's got to be as a man, hasn't it? Got no game. Ferguson back at United and Stephen Kenny back at Dundalk. Greeno as a Bournemouth fan. You take Eddie ahead of anyone else. Do you know what? Uh, Greeno, you and I have chatted about Eddie. I don't think he's actually a, a champions winning coach, personally. He's a bit squiffy in the transfer market. But he's one heck of a man, isn't he? Big R half fan as well. Uh, Johan Cruyff would be great. Uh, he's a wrestling manager, is he? Sorry, my wrestling knowledge is not what it once was. Uh, as a Man U fan, you'd go Jose just because he is the GOAT man manager. For Birmingham, he could get them playing above themselves, which is, I don't know, about 19th in the championship is above us at the moment. Callum Cruyff would fit in. You are the Holland of the North. Of course you are. But so Bobby the Brain was a WWF wrestling manager. Before my time. Uh, you'd go with Carol Bruckner for, for Dundee United. You'd go Yeovil and you'd have Matt Busby. Matt Busby at Yeovil. Give the people what they want. Shankly started out at Carlisle. Bobby Heenan, sorry, Bobby Heenan was a heel manager in the 80s. I was busy in the 80s. I was not watching wrestling. Uh, amazing performer. Mr. Truth. MK Dons. Brian Clough. What a manager. Who guided two lesser teams to the title. Won two European Cups. What a man. Good point. Savage is a toffee. You would have loved Terry Herlock. Think he would have got a performance from our team now or else. Did, did Herlock manage? You have, to, you, have to, you have to give me some Terry Herlock updates there. Isaac, the manager had to have managed in a club in this dream. No. AVB, no, 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 no. Yeah, it could be literally anybody. Uh, Sir Bobby never managed Birmingham. Uh, Monkey, I may be biased. You are an Ipswich fan. Has to be Sir Bobby for you. I mean, he got runners-up and an FA Cup and a UEFA Cup, am I right, with Ipswich? All that with a culture of kindness and respect. There we go, Monkey in the Fog. There we go, Foggy. That's what I'm after. A culture of kindness and respect. I'd put that above trophies. Put me in League 2. Put me in non-League with a culture of kindness and respect. Wolf, somebody get some, some Bobby Heenan clips into the manager's seat Discord. Uh, on the list, thank you. Paul Heyman. Then we could play Brock Lesnar at centre-back. I know who Paul Heyman is. God, he's irritating, isn't he? Uh, Liam. Were you out clubbing in the 80s? No, I was at like primary school discos in the 80s. I was doing knee slides to wet, wet, wet songs. Uh, Ed, uh, Lesnar would send the strikers straight to Suplex City. Uh, John Gorman, ex-player who never managed Carlisle. At the time he was managing, we needed him. That was Glenn Hoddle's assistant, wasn't it? A Scottish guy. Anyway, uh, we, we need to get back into some FM, don't we? It's... Uh, all right, well, look, we may be an hour and 24 in and we may have played one game. I'm just I'm just I'm just saying. Uh and we've got another fixture. We're about to take on Grimsby. Now, we had some players away on holiday resting up and they're back. So we've got a right back who I don't think you've seen. I bought him in on loan on transfer deadline day. 6 foot 4, jumping reach of 18. And I may have done that purely because I was getting fed up of Sammy Robinson being beaten in the air. Now, as a wing-back on support, Sammy Robinson is clearly going to be better going forward, isn't he? So maybe Amari Marisho it is not cut out for the way we're trying to play now. Maybe I should give Sammy Robinson another game. Let's get Marisho onto the bench. There we go. He's on. Uh, Travis... Uh, it's still raining on him. He's away with the international team. Trevitt's injured. Ockerflex is back. Here we go. This is what the people want. Jacob Jones out. Armstrong, Ockerflex in. Beautiful. Wooten, Elliot, Day. Okay, this looks good. We're going to go reverse Savage. Ockerflex, Dialu. Beautiful. 
Nibsy, we're going to give you a game as a deep lying forward, Nibbers. Do not let me down. And we're going to go out there. Let's do battle. Okay, half time's over. Let's get out of there. Back into the game. Here we go. You know, we could get three games done this stream. Halcyon days. Who'd have imagined? Uh, Isaac, always loved Owen Coyle. Uh, knee slide, shouting Galato. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Uh, Bobby Heenan is the weasel suit. Uh, in the weasel suit. It's epic. I feel like everybody else knows this person apart from me. Uh, Wolf, glad you weren't drinking anything when you made that wet, wet, wet reference, Lama. Goodness, haven't heard them in forever. There's no way, Wolf. No way. Right, look, anyone that has a Jesus Jones CD, I can believe will have heard of Wet, 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 but they never made it stateside, did they? Uh, carry on your last performance, boys. Here we go. Uh, Liam, uh, give you two rock metal albums to listen to on the train to Mansfield. Uh, okay, well, you know, you know metal far better than me. But self-titled Rage Against the Machine never disappoints for me. You know, the one with the flaming monk on the front uh, is always great. And then something a bit more modern. This is modern to me, Liam. You're a youngster, but modern to me. I very much enjoy a little bit of royal blood at the moment. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's that's high up on my list at the moment. A bit of royal blood. Sean, sorry you're late. Better late than never, though, right? Sean, absolutely better late than never. Evening, everybody. No! And welcome into Wolf Wet Wet Wet. Made it to America. Goodness me. Uh, Craig, when does your wrestling knowledge start? It starts about 2001 and it finishes about 2006. And I was more of a, a total non-stop action than a, a wwe -er. But I watched a bit of WWE back in the day. A bit of Jericho, a bit of Jerry Lynn. Oh, I was more TNA. And then TNA went rubbish, so I stopped. Uh, Isaac, loving the dubstep behind me. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not my thing, actually. Uh, it's just nice stream music. Uh, Jesse, Killers by Iron Maiden. Uh, and Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath is an excellent Sabbath album. Uh, Noble, Peace of Mind is the perfect metal album. Liam likes a bit of Royal Blood. I think of Royal Blood as kind of like cheeky new kids on the block, though. They've probably been around about 10 years, haven't they? Uh, you saw them play at the O2, uh, it's the O2 Institute Room in Birmingham before they rose in popularity. Craig, 2001, that's late. Missed the Attitude Era. So more, yeah, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles before he was irritating, and Christopher Daniels, Heaven Sent, Hellbound, The Fallen Angel. That's my favourite wrestler of all time, Christopher Daniels. I mean, Christopher Daniels versus Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles in like a triple threat in the in the eight-sided ring. Was it eight-sided or six-sided ring in TNA? That's the stuff. Nobody better than Christopher Daniels. I was so excited when that AEW started and they announced Christopher Daniels was in it, but he was in it once and then stopped. Overlapping fullbacks there, by the way. Did you catch that? Giving the ball away straight away, but he overlapped. Liam, yeah, six-sided ring. That was good stuff. I like that. They got rid of it, though, didn't they? And they switched to a four-sided ring. Last time I watched it, Rob Van Dam was in there. They also used to have a great guy in TNA called Sabu. Like Sabu. He went to WWE as well. Ron the Truth Killings, he was in. They had some big names. They had some big names. Abyss. And then who was King of the Hill? Jeff Jarrett. I think he was the guy that owned it. That was my era. And I liked WWE around that same time of era when it was all tag teams. I love the Dudley boys. Get the tables. A bit of triple threat tag team between the Hardys, the Dudleys and Edge and Christian. Oh, we've got overlapping fullbacks again, by the way. They don't overlap very well, but... Oh, that's nice play. Oh, that is a lovely effort on goal. That was nice football. Jeff Jarrett's still in AEW, is he? All right. Uh, what have I missed? Our truth is great. Yeah, there we go. Um, 
you've not watched wrestling since the world of sports day uh, uh monty brown you see i never watched the ecw either um christopher daniels is still going coaching and he's still in ring of honor is he okay um there were some good wrestlers in Ring of Honor as well. Saw Royal Blood at the Bic a few years ago. Made a racket considering there's only two of them. It's all on a bass guitar as well. Uh, your dad has the same name as Kendo Nakasaki. I'm guessing that's not Kendo Nakasaki, by the way. Uh, great tag team matches back in the day. Much better play. Wolf, I thought we played some nice stuff in that little passage. Do you agree? I thought that was some nice interplay. And the fullbacks are getting a bit involved. So I'm pleased with that. Obviously, we want to check how that makes us play defensively. Are they going to get stranded upfield? But yeah, I thought we did some nice stuff there. Two shots already. I say already, we're 20 minutes into the game. Maybe we should have had a couple more. Here we go, Robinson is nibs coming very deep for the deep line forward that's good okay now we want to go into midfield and out wide and to the midfield and out wide that's nice there we go i like that you're gonna need someone to back you up no you've gone in right what are you up to that's not good okay let's start again then robinson into the midfield there we go switch the play Right, I'd just cross this first time. Go on, sling it in, son. Sling it in. Sling it in. That's it. That's our oh, Nibsy. Oh, no. Hmm. I also think a part of our poor XG is because we have players that can't cross. Because our delivery into the box is not good. As you saw there, where Nibs ended up picking up that cross with his back to goal. He had to move backwards to get it. So we do need better crosses. But we're playing better, I think. Okay, in the midfield, now we go out wide. I like centre-backs to roll it into the midfield and then we play out wide. There we go. There we go, that's nice. Playing to Look at the space in there. Oh, Nibsy. I feel like Nibsy's not a finisher, you know. I mean, he's passed that back rather than shoot. And we go into half-time nil-nil. That's a good XG from three shots on target. Uh, no. What do we do with the nibs? He's on a six-point... Oh, he's not. No nibs. It says he's playing well. It's Humphreys who's on the 6.5. All right, if you insist. Diallo's on a 6.3. That's horrible. Makation. Okay, we go again. We might switch to just the, the regular Savage as well in a minute. Try and mix it up a little bit. Go at them down the flanks. Could be a goal down by then though, look at this. Clifton. No. Oh. Oh, come off it. Come off it. We're not going to goal down already, are we? Okay. Okay, 55 minutes. I think we change it up. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay, we've got one highlight to score a goal. Otherwise, we're changing. Come on then. Into midfield. Now go wide. All right, that'll do. He's been terrible today. And that's another one. Right. Okay, so... Let's go regular Savage. Let's get him off because he's been rubbish. Switch those two around. Ockerflex comes out. And JJ comes on and plays on the wing. There we go. Let's change the nature of our attack for 20 minutes. And then we've always got a macho man to pull out. I feel like I want to shout as well. Trying to lay off them, but I want to shout Demar more. Magoma, Richards, Mohammed, get on there, win it. 
All right, win it and give it straight back to them. <sighs> nothing chance, nothing chance. Let's catch up in case you're giving me good advice. Uh, Callum, The Rock, The Stone Cold, The Edge, The Jeff Hardy, The Triple H, The Kurt Angles. Not so much The Kurt Angles. Uh, although Kurt Angle did come over to TNA, uh, as did well, both Hardys at different times. What a time to be alive. Got in a game. Wasn't it Hulk Hogan that made them go to a foresight? I don't know. Uh, Callum, The Legend. Oh, yeah, William Regal. Goodness me. Couldn't stand him. Uh, football looking decent, do you think, so? But we've not found a breakthrough yet, have we? Not done a lot since halftime. Uh, Craig, there's FM being played. Oh, sorry. Uh, got some albums downloaded. Settled on The Concrete Confessional by Hatebreed, Royal Blood Self Title, and Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. There you go. Uh, they're definitely closing down the midfield. Uh, you wanted to be Jeff Hardy when you were growing up, still kind of do. Um, not Matt Hardy now, though. God, his knees have gone. Right. It's not It's not happening for us. Fresh legs are the order of the day. Do we have a midfielder? Lapsley. On you go. Energy. Here we go. I mean, Grimsby are no great shakes, by the way. So this is a winnable game. Okay, so we want to play the ball in central midfield and then hit space out wide. Here we go. Probably Lapsley would be better at doing it, although McAtee's dropped deep. That's beautiful. Come on, Nibbers. He's finally scored. I mean, he hit the goalkeeper, but he's finally scored. Thank you. Goal! Did we think it would ever happen? His Nibs would actually score a goal. McAtee's done some beautiful work there, by the way. I think he's done his best to miss that. Mark McGee gets a good hand on it. And McGee is no whippersnapper, by the way. He's got to be in his 60s. Okay, that's good. Still performing below our XG again, so that's not so great. And we've got an injury, and it's McAtee. Oh, nasty. Nasty. Uh, I don't want him as a deep liar. There you go. Okay, have we got another goal in us? Rude Van Nibstelroy. <laughs> it's not quite a finisher on that level, though we're top of the table as things stand. And we're into a highlight. Ten minutes left. We need a goal. A, to make it safe. But B, I think to show that these changes have had an effect. No. And he's offside as well. <laughs> Maybe it's not Mark McGee in goal. Maybe it's Debbie. She's magic, by the way. Absolute magic. Lapsley. Oh, that's poor. <clears throat> Stuart Potts. They've got a few veterans. By the way, Sean, if you're still in the chat, you'll remember Stuart Potts. Evans. So, oh, don't equalise. I don't have to go chasing the game. Oh, that's such a poor tackle. David Coleman. Okay, that's all right. Oh, no, what have you just... Oh, no, no, oh, God. Oh, no, it's just... Ugh. What a mix-up. So these are the things that we're led to believe are less frequent now. Is it just with goalkeepers? Because he's... This has just hit him on the back of the head. Uh, what, what? Why are you facing the wrong way, for starters? Turn around. The ball's right there. I'm me. And, oh, oh I'm me. <laughs> oh, goals like that are so frustrating. Our, our goalkeeper does not save penalties. I don't get many penalty saves at all in FM23, if I'm honest. I don't know whether they are... Oh, I mean, that's straight at him. I don't know whether they're a bit rare or whether I've just had bad goalkeepers. Okay, that that's bad. Okay. Let's premiere the Macho Savage, then. Uh, let's rotate those two over. 
we, I think we need to change the lines with this as well, don't we? There we go. Oh, that was such disappointing defending. They did not deserve that. And they could get a winner. Sit all. Okay, we're on the ball. We're on the ball. Come on, central midfield. Play it now into central midfield. No, not that. All right, that is Nibs. Oh, Nibbers. <laughs> oh, that's a filthy finish. He made it hard for himself because he was clean through. Doubted himself. Let the defender get goal side. And then, well, this goal is as bad for them. Debbie McGee is in no man's land. Nibbers. Oh, daylight nibbery, I would say. Frank nibbery. All right, we we might have we might have dug ourselves out of it. This this is a proper highlight though. Six minutes of stoppage time. We've only just started it. Here's Magoma. Come on, then we're on the ball. Okay, that's very direct. Sit all. Don't let him get another equaliser. That would be terrible. In fact, I probably shouldn't be on the on the macho, should I? Should have downgraded. I forgot that we were playing the macho. Come on, Nibbers. Oh, Nibs. At least put in a shift, Nibbers. Come on. That's better. Go on, then. Oh, there we go. That's good link-up play. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the two inverted wingers. That's beautiful link-up play. Right. Hold on. Let's, let's get back to something a bit more sensible. Let's get the reverse Savage on. There we go. That was nice. That through ball had snow on it. Uh, which one? Oh, no. It must have been earlier on. That's a nice goal, though. That's cultured. With the inverted wingers, we're really overloading their centre-backs there. It's kind of like they've got too many men to pick up. So that was good. And we walk off the pitch 3-1. What do we make of that performance? Wasn't stunning. Outperformed our XG, though, and that's rare for us. So I'll take it. Nibbers, two goals as well. Maybe his nibs could play as a striker. Uh, here we go. Potts West Ham. You're absolutely right, Savage. Absolutely right. Mark McGee would have been your second choice of manager after Debbie McGee, Neil. I agree. Um, Talis robbed. Whoa, what's this? Three weeks. Okay, three weeks it is. Uh, this happened because the players are breathing out of their bottoms and will make mistakes. Why do my players get so tired, by the way? I don't think I press overly. Is it something I'm doing in pre-season? Because I'm picking up a lot of injuries as well. This is why I was having to send them on holiday. Two days to the next match. These boys aren't going to make it, half of them. Uh, anyway, what we got? Terps is in. GT. What a beautiful Friday when GT's with us. Afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, Sean, Steve Potts. Mr. Sean, I knew Steve Potts would welcome you back in. Uh, Simon, that's the positive mentality. The reverse should be called the lily. Uh, off to meet the old man. Cal, thanks for dropping by. Tired players equals natural fitness and stamina being low. It's quite possible at this level. I find I get it a lot on my centre-backs. I know 12's not disastrous. I, I, by the way, I'm trying to wriggle on as well because we've got a game against Harrogate in two games. Uh, sorry, two days' time. And I feel like I owe you a third game. Because we do too much just chatting, and I'm going to get told off. Rook, two days isn't a holiday. It's barely a weekend. Georgian, try picking up Kelvin Abrefa if you get promoted. Can I let you in on a little secret, Georgian? This, this, is, this is brand new information for everybody. If we get promoted and get a little rep boost, I'm thinking we move again. I've got the taste for progress now. And I'm thinking whether we, we chance our arm at maybe another London club or tier three in in Spain or France. GT, never thank us for the welcome. It's a treat to have you in, sir. Absolute treat. Thank you for joining us. Hope all the famers are good as well, GT. Uh, got in a game. Winning when not playing well hopefully means a strong foundation. Yeah, I've been doing that for too long, I would say. 
Started conceding a goal every game as well now, though. Uh, can't quite get the balance right. You think the match accumulation means the fatigue and the poor natural fitness and stamina? West Brom are unhappy that I'm playing him. I don't care, to be honest, especially with West Brom. Bite me baggies is playing in central midfield. By the way, I don't know whether I've shown you, Mohammed. Um, we were talking last stream about how I want a central midfielder who can actually just sit and tackle. So, Mohammed is a centre-half who could play a little bit in midfield. So, I've just asked him to go there. He was a ball-playing defender. He's got passing of 13 and vision of 13. I've slapped him in midfield. There's something a bit more combative in there. And uh, I like him. I think it works well. Uh, we're top of the league, are we, Neil? Uh, we still got a game in hand as well. Sorry, that was the West Midlands there. we still got a game in hand. Still got a game in hand. Uh, uh, we've only lost twice all season. So it's tight. But three go up. And you look down to Bradford, we are eight points ahead of Bradford with a game in hand. Uh, so this good. GT, things are all good your end. Fabulous, GT. Uh, are you getting any games in this weekend, GT, by the way? Cheeky bit of Hamilton or... or one of your other clubs? Is it Lark or Thistle or have I invented that? I have a tendency to do. Travis is back Monty needs a rest. Okay, let's get Trav in. Christian Magoma needs a rest. Let's get Bashir Humphreys in. That that's not weakening the side at all. I've got good centre backs. Um uh, Okay, Sammy Robs out. Rico out. He's not bitter, but we're bringing in the Murphys. Uh oh, I've just praised Jamal Mohammed and now he, he needs a rest. I don't have anybody that quite plays that role as well as him, but we're going to go with Alfonso Lindo, who is also a centre half that can play in midfield and a tall one. It doesn't work. He doesn't work very hard. I don't like him. Lapsley, it's this arrives late in opposition box that I don't like with Lapsley, but I think that's probably better than having poor work rate, is it? And then what's going on up front? Nibsy needs a rest. Okay. And I'm going to trust you as a deep line forward because you, you don't do a jot in any other role. Uh, have you played the Mighty Blues yet this season? As in taking charge of Birmingham? I have not. Uh, I, I, all my football manager saves, as the Llama suggests, are lower league manager saves. I like to start right out at the bottom, either as a journeyman or as a one club thing. So now I don't, I don't play Birmingham very often. Although one of my best ever saves was in Birmingham where I started out with Leamington Spa and then went to Charlton and then went to Birmingham I managed to win the Champions League and then the Premier League and then went to Napoli, Sevilla, Bordeaux, Twente and then OFI from Crete. Great save. Loved it. Okay, submit the team. We're off. One more game. One more game. You need another hump three. Yeah. Oh, you meant your team. Oh, sorry. When you say the Mighty Blues, I think you mean my team, Craig. I don't know whether I've ever managed Carlisle. Uh, I don't. Oh, apologies. Whenever I hear Mighty Blues, I just think, oh, that's Birmingham, that. Uh, I don't know what happened last time we played Harrogate, but apparently there's revenge in the air. So let's go. Come on. We could do with another win here. By the way, we've won two games this stream. This could be a third. I mean, I'm not sure we've ever had that, have we? Spong. I feel like I've heard of Spong and Stretch Armstrong before. Is this a team that beat us when we were at Sutton? Everybody beat us when we were at Sutton, I suppose. By the way, I think our goalkeeper's decent. Low Tutala. Oh, that's a good wall, that. Good bit of wallage. Slow start, though, by the boys. Maybe I'll, I'll switch the formations around a bit quicker this game. Try and mix it up for the opposition. Here's Ockerflex. Love that player, by the way. There's Lapsley. There's Diallo. Oh, 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 that was... That was champagne football. That was velvet. That was like swimming through a vat of caramel, that little interplay. 
That's tier four, remember? And then we sling a good corner into the near post and get a header. Hmm, very nice. Okay, look at that. We've almost got the XG up again. Not not scored a goal yet. Here we go. Lappers. Where are you going? He's gone near post again. There's nobody there. What? What? All right. As the ball gets headed out in this play, watch, watch this. Tell me this is natural. I'm just going to backpedal away. I've turned my back on the ball. Where are you going? Why Why do they do these things on set plays? One of my pet peeves, this, is closing down on your own attacking set plays. I mean, that positioning's fine. As the ball gets headed out, Ockerflex goes and closes him down. That, that's, that's natural. No, nope, I'll backpedal. And then I'm just going to turn around and run off in the opposite direction. Oh, no. No, I was wrong. Come on. Nonsense. Danny Graham. Stretch Armstrong. Oh, look at they've got space. they got space. I don't like that. Is that wing backs on support there? And they're in. And they're in. Oh, we've won it. Okay. Hmm. I tell you what, we've not looked great. That's better. That's good. Go on, now play out. It's all over on the left. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, stop it. Just stop it. I mean, that, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's like a knife. Who's another former Tottenham player, by the way? Who's another former Tottenham player? What have I missed there? Uh, Rob Dunn's in. Afternoon, Rob. Good to see you. Greeno. Give it a couple of years and Blues... <laughs> yeah, I think you're right there, Jesse. Uh, yours has got defence gone up, but two promotions... Uh, mine has death. Oh, yours has death's gone up. Sorry. Two promotions in three seasons will do that. Joshua Brown, you've returned, presumably right on time. We've won two games and we're ahead in a third, Joshua. Brace yourself. Spong is a decent lower league. I'm sure I've recognized Spong from a previous game. Craig, thought you might think that was deliberate, but you also meant they are in the same league. Have you played them yet? Uh, is it bad of me that I don't remember? Where are they, by the way? Um, oh, they're there. 18th. Struggling. Struggling. Uh, Ed, silky smooth. I thought. A change of direction from the past of the shot. Yeah, not. Mike, did you see us play some football there, by the way, Mike? We're, um, Mike, we're, we're, we're playing. We're back playing the 4 4 2. But I've kind of. Change it to a deep line forward, even though the man playing there for that game, he's just scored the goal, by the way. He's a target forward. I, he's got passing a six and vision of six, but we're trying out a deep line forward to make our 4 4 2 link up with the, with the inverted wingers a bit. And tell you what, Mike, it's gone okay. It's gone all right so far. Oozing quality might be a stretch there, Ed, but that. That's a nice football we've played. And here we go again. So this is one of our inverted wingers. Now just go into the midfield and then out again. I like this into-out kind of play. So into central midfield, like an accordion. And then we hit the wings. Not on that occasion, but I like it. Okay, 24 minutes on the clock. Plenty of time left. Let's put on a bit of a show now. Charles Cook, who sounds like a Motown singer to me. Uh, you shoot from there, son. All you like. That's absolutely fine. Going on. This is still not our game in hand, by the way. I don't think. Lapsley. Give us another cheap goal. There we go. Flexi. Oh, he's, oh, he's dinked a little effort there. Dinked a little effort. Humphreys. No. No, 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 no. He's not playing great again, is he? 
Although strikers don't often get good ratings unless they get a goal or assist. Their general play doesn't really seem to count for a lot. Neil Poynton's playing as well. Ex Oldham. Ooh, that was a bit closer. Neil Poynton, I remember, is having a wonderful mullet moustache combo. People of a vintage might be able to just confirm whether I'm correct on that. Into half time, 1 0, not done a huge amount since the goal. We're only just performing ahead of our XG once more. I think for the start of the second half, let's give them 10 minutes where we mix it up. So we get to the regular Savage, swap the wingers over. Yeah, let's give them 10 minutes on this. Humphreys is looking apprehensive for reasons that escape me. Um, we need a second goal. And maybe if we just change to this for the first 15 minutes, I don't know, we might just take them by surprise. We play with wingers rather than inverted wingers. You never know. All right, might not take them by surprise at all. Actually, they might be quite comfortable with that. We have absolutely no shots whatsoever. None. Nothing. We've won a corner, though. We've won a corner. Come on, lappers. We don't have any good set piece takers, by the way. We do have good centre halves to get on the end of them, though. Larry King in goal as well. Another veteran. Could be Stephen, though. He's had a horror show. Oh, no. It's Charles Cook. I think it's Sam Cook I'm thinking of. That's the Motown singer, isn't it? Do not give away the pen. Oh, okay. 58 minutes. We've not done a lot. Let's switch back. Reverse Savage. Swap those two back over. And I'm going to bring a striker on. Which one, though? That's the question. I'm going to go with Jacob Jones and try him out as a striker, you know. Because Humph has done absolutely nothing. Noble the Savage Poynton did have an epic mullet. Thank you very much. Played for Everton and Man City. I remember him at Oldham. Have I made that up? Did he never play for Oldham? Sure he did, but I, yeah, I'm old. And that is a long time ago. I get confused very easily. Okay, I feel like we're waiting to concede a goal here. Uh... Could Jones go as an advanced forward, giving his 14 finishing? I've got him as a poacher, purely because I didn't want him running out into wide channels when I was playing the wingers. But now that we're playing the, the reverse savage, we could try that out. Get him spinning out into little pockets over on the wide. Have we got anybody else that's tired and needs to come off? Boateng. I want to try and protect because he keeps picking up knocks. So let's get... Hmm, let's get Lindo on, even though his teamwork is poor. Let's get him off for... Oh, okay, not ideal. Let's get Wooten for... No, let's give Nibsy a bit of game time as a striker again. Nibs and Jones. Okay, and we're, be we're behind on the XG again. One goal scored, 1.1 on the XG. Not, Still not quite as clinical as I would like. I think we're better, but I don't think we're still there yet. We've picked the ball up in midfield. Diallo, he's got a runner in front of him, which he ignores. Instead, he plays a great ball in. And Nibs has done another pass back to the keeper. And Stephen King has just gifted us possession. That is a horror shot. And that's a terrible pass. Not to Neil Poynton. Oh, no. And they're in. And we're going to get punished. Oh, we should have got punished. Neil Poynton did play for Oldham. Thank you. You're right on Poynton. Mullet, Tash, Kill, Klein. Fabulous. It was an era for it. That's good. That's good. Hit that player. That's good. And that's, that's all come to a stop. He spun out into the wide channels like we wanted, I suppose. Ockerflex? No. Yeah, don't, don't counter-attack with the urgency that I would like. Maybe we need pace. 
We don't have great pace. We don't have great dribbling. Maybe I'm asking players to do stuff that they're not, not really cut out for. Lapsley, you're taking your time here, son. No, I thought there was a penalty there. Nothing. We're clinging on now. We're into injury time. In fact, I'm not too proud to throw on a bit of time wasting there. A cheap corner goal right now would be just what the good doctor ordered. There we go. There we go. There. We oh, no. Didn't get on it. Okay. He's mopped it up. I'd left it three against two, but that's fine. Alan Titchmarsh is playing. We've definitely played this lot before. I remember Titchmarsh. Not now. No, not now. Not like this. Thank you. See it out now, boys. See it out. There and there and there. Okay. See it out. We're over now, ref. We're over. We're done. We're done. Three minutes and ten seconds. You said three minutes. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We've won three games in a stream. And I don't remember doing that in a while. Uh, nice work. That was good. Are we going to leave this top of the league? Are we? Don't tease me. Are we top of the league with a game in hand, by the way? We're two points clear with a game in hand. Ten clear of fourth with a game in hand. Not fifth, but... Tell you what. Looks all right to me. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, I tell you what. If we could, If we could just be a bit more clinical... Maybe a striker coming in during the January transfer window. You never know. You never know. We could have a promotion push on our hands here. Welcome in, Jackie. We have changed clubs. We are now at Bromley. Um, and I think, I think we're on to a good thing with Bromley. I think we've got a chance. I'm going to play a little bit over the weekend. Uh, I don't know how much. Busy weekend. I'll try and get you know, another 10, 10 games done if I can. And you never know. When we come back, it could be around December time. We could be looking at the January transfer window. We might still be top of the league. We might have a promotion push on our hands. But more importantly, we'll have some great chat again. Hopefully, plenty of you will be available for Monday to come and join us. It's always great to hang out and talk football with you all. I hope your teams win, whoever they're in action against this weekend. And we will see you on Monday when we continue our promotion push. See you then.